Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Massive game against Fleetwood coming up. But firstly, I'm on the grass, it's the middle of March and somehow it is snowing. Let's get into this session. The snow's actually done wonders for the pitches here. Softened them up a little bit. Yeah. My studs are going right in. Do you know what I was saying the other day? I realised in this country, half the year is cold, isn't it? Probably more. Probably more. Yeah. Taff, are you still doing Pokey Bomb, mate? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously though, from October till March, it's cold, isn't it? It's cold for six months here. <laughs> I'm not kiting it, I'm just keeping it in. I reckon we'll probably warm up first. That was good, wasn't it? Just do a little warm up first. Makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Trampoline touch. That's going to get a ball off one person, two touch, and then just give it to a guy who doesn't have a ball. So, for example, move the pass in, two touch, give it to Jordan, and then JP passes it in, give it to another guy. Do two passes, swap. Ready? Get it going. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The two touch ball cannot stop moving. So if the Taff gives it to me, yeah. I have to keep it going. Find the guy that's free. And just keep the ball going, okay? Come to me. Just working on my awareness. Yeah, so you have to scan and set that. So what if he's ready by the time I've taken two? That's fine, yeah. give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten passes. Yeah. One. Yes, sir. Two. Yes, Baby. Yes, 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 Three. Yes, Ben. Four. That's oh, me. That's it. Oh, yes, Ben. Two. Yes. Yeah, Luca. Yes, Luca. Yes, 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 Luca. Yes, Luca. Yes, yes, Luca. Yes, Yes, just to update you on the weekend, through to Exeter, really good football inside. And now we are playing Fleetwood's new manager, Scott Brown. Remember him, Celtic legend. Strengthened in January, they're going to be good. They've got good front boys. It's going to be a physical battle, I think, especially if they've got the big man from Charlton up top. Jack Marriott, my former teammate, will run off him all day. I don't know if they're playing, but soon find out. Get through this session. Last one for me, and back on the pitch. Brilliant Taff, oh great plant Taff. So in the six this morning Taff swimming, love it. <laughs> People don't know about that Taff. Just be careful with those hemorrhoids. <laughs> I only feel them when I strain. Yeah. Walk back straight to it, watch. Oh my god. Almost ran to the pole. Oh that pole is getting an absolute beat in. <laughs> finish of the day three sets four reps or four singular runs I'm explaining this well aren't i 20 yards there back there back four times three sets me and luca last two men standing three two one go love it boys It's gonna be a leg burner, I can Three, tell. Two, one, go. And again, yeah. Good work, love it. It's not dipped yet, 15 seconds. Every single rep. And you have double the rest. Great pace, great pace, love it. Again. Right quad burner that session. You know when your legs stop you before your lungs? It was one of them ones. But to be fair, I was blowing as well. Good session outdoors. Here, I am with Blanks. This is our court. We're gonna play head tennis. What are we saying? Forfeits. First to three and then next that bam. I'm not getting slapped today. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a great start. <laughs> what? Please do this. I'll let you off. No more excuses. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like Andy Roddick, massive server. First blood, half blood. Oh, oh, you, don't, you don't need that, son. 2 0. We've not even got started yet. Me, you want to see a run. Look at that. Blunt, get yourself over here, mate. It's 3 0. Oh, shambles. 
Get your toe in now. Get your toe in now. And show me that net. Oh, that's not bad. 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 It's early days. <laughs> I can't believe I just lost the game to blokes. <laughs> Remember I was nice, yeah? <laughs> noted, noted. That was not friendly. A great touch. Oh, you've done so well. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, what's it <laughs> Like. It was not. That was not. Oh my god! His next rep. Let's take this like a man. You watch it. Oh my god! I felt that in my lower back. Why am I being nice? I couldn't finish the one. Three, two. That was a slap. What do you mean? You went like this, <laughs> and then you went like this. Oh, give me head, give me head. Oi, why, are you, why are you holding my head with your other hand? <laughs> Oi. Nice one. I'll let you off. Yeah, that was pathetic. Welcome to skill school. Get yourself back there, lad. Oh. Oh, what's up there? <laughs> what are you aiming for? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my! That was nice. Can I get one for you? You don't get any. Oh, one, I'm point, one point, one point. I'm eating. One point. What, what do you mean one point? one point? Every time I beat him, he comes back for more. Get some food. I'm done. I'm not oh, giving you another chance. Gotta get to the game. It was about an hour and a half until kickoff. What's going on, bro? Are you right? Are you ready for the game? About an hour and a half till kickoff. You right, mate? You ready for the game? Yes, yes, definitely. Love that. I don't suppose you're playing. Nah, not today, not unfortunately. Yet. Not yet. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Be back. It was a tough session on the grass, you know. But I like it. Short and sharp. Intense stamina session. If anyone is looking to get fit, got loads more sessions in my stamina program that I did release for and you know what guys I'm gonna lower the price of the stamina program now to 9.99 for the next 72 hours get your hands on that if you want just come to Tesco you need to get a quick bite to eat absolutely stinking out of the gaff didn't have time to shower after training straight into the gym did my hamstring work did we have upper body shoulder session and I did a big core session. I actually posted that in my last video. If you've not seen it, go check that one out. While you're on the move, Tesco Express, not really the best place to get a quick snack. I'm looking for a protein bar. Let's see what they've got. What? 22 grams of sugar, no thank you. Just keep it simple. Go for a grenade bar. It says there's no sugar in them, but I highly doubt it. I have just put a question box on my Instagram asking you to get any questions in below that you may have. I'm gonna answer them on YouTube later tonight. Might even answer a few in a game, who knows? Seen a lot of questions already about. This is what everyone wants, to become a professional footballer. And this is why myself and my teammate, Kevin Stewart, are teaming up, creating a platform for aspiring pros. And we're actually giving you guys the chance. I think it's probably the best chance possible to become pros, just with our coaching, our guidance, programs. And we're gonna be holding showcase games where we get down hundreds of scouts from all over the Country, so you can play in front of them and if you're good enough get scouted get a trial get a contract whatever it might be who knows I think it will work really well so that's pretty much answers that sort of question for anyone who has asked because I've had about 35 of them already and I'll get around to the rest of them let's get to the stadium let's just pray that we get three points tonight
Before we kick off, let me answer one of your guys' questions. Alex Rogers, when you back? I've been pushing the physios here and to get me back as soon as possible because it's crunch time now. We need to pick up as many points as possible. Tuesday today, I'm hoping I'm going to play on Saturday. Results, depending if the boys win tonight, defensively solid and whatnot, then obviously there's kind of less of a rush for me to get back. The problem is, is that where my injury is in my hamstring, the recurrence rate for a niggle like this is actually really high, something crazy like above 70%. So 70% of people who tear the hamstring in this area are actually redo it and that's what we're trying to avoid so I just have a clean run plain sailing through to the end of the season with no more niggles fair play to the little army of Fleetwood fans that have come down all that way on a Tuesday night you know especially when there's Champions League football on it's about minus five degrees right now take my hat off to them Fleetwood have matched us up 4-2-3-1 which means we both got a spare man at the back one of the set and a half providing that cover. We just need to get the momentum early here because Fleetwood are always a tricky opponent. Earlier in the season, we drew to them away, and that was a tough game. Big start from the boy. Centre backs linking up. Grimmer leaves it in there. Big Chris Reno heads it in. Love it. Boys are starting as well. Got another question here from Max Saban. Best player you've played with? Back when I was at school, Victor Moses he was up there. He's at 13, scoring like 15 a game for the under 16s. For like a year 11s back, in, back at the time. But probably in my professional career, Ivan Tony. Top talent, good character as well. Jared Bowen at home, he was, he was a joke. Ben White made it, Peterborough, now at Arsenal. Playing right back at the minute, I do think he's a centre back. And we will we'll play centre back in the future though. But yeah. Ooh, Chris nearly scored again. The ref blew for a foul, but what a finish. Jaden W1, in your opinion, what was your best game in a Wickham shirt? For me, probably the last game the championship season, Middlesbrough away. It was one of them games where everything was just coming off for me. Beating 3-0, two assists in one game. So yeah, probably that one. Half time and his first half's go. Pretty boring, pretty uneventful, but you take that when you want it up, I suppose. However, I do think that these boys are there for the kill. If we can start the second half as fast as we started the first half, get another goal, that'll be delightful. <laughs> Young dog. Guy. Stay warm you bro, stay warm. We are aren't we? That's what I'm saying to the boys. Starting fast in games is so key. When you look at Arsenal this season, first half, second half, they always come out of the blocks on fire and I think that's been a big contributing factor as to why they've been so successful. Had a few questions there. Oh, Jideo, Georgie, Shalomanov and Fares Klos all asking when's the programme coming out. Touched on it a little bit earlier. I think when it is released and launched, it's going to be sought after. There's going to be a huge demand for it. So keep an eye out for that. Follow the program Instagram for now. Kev's running that as it stands, but I'll be on there soon. Just so you can get instant updates and early access on when things are released and whatnot. You don't want to be missing out on any of the programs and stuff like that that's going to help you become a pro footballer. Plymouth Derby games on in the media room. Derby winning 1-0 away. At Plymouth makes the top of the table interesting. It's not good for us. Mendez scored for Derby as well. Love it, lads. I've done a QA on my Instagram. Someone's just asked, is Josh Blanco better than you at Tech Ball? Easily. Is that you off your fake account? Huh? Is that you asking questions off your fake account? No, no, no but it's a true statement. Yeah? Yeah, it's a true statement. Alright, Thursday, I'll let you use your hands and I bet I still win. My hands? Yeah. I smoked you last time. <laughs> Second half. Let's go. Score predictions, blokes. 3-0. 3 0. Three nil. Yeah, we take that all day. Yo, you reckon Wing has got another yeah, two, he's not gonna take him. Take him to 10 for the season. I'm going for a dirty 1-0, grind it out, last 15 minutes. Fleetwood, so much possession, but they're just lacking that bit of penetration. Very much sideways and backwards with no real threat of anything in behind or just uh, a goal of any sort. We're very direct, so win it back, get up the pitch, Hoxie, flick ons, runners off him. And I think it's causing them problems. Ben Lewis, worst player to play against. 
For me, it's the kind of striker that doesn't want to get involved in the game at all. Plays on your shoulder the whole game, comes in, links it up every now and again with the midfield, and then bam, comes alive all of a sudden in the box, gets like a scruffy tap in, 1-0, and that's him done for the day. Because I like to be involved. The physical battle, getting on the ball, winning it off the strikers, and if they don't have the ball, it's kind of hard to do a lot of them things. Yeah, they're the frustrating ones where the game just pass you by, and he's not done much, and I've not done much. The throw again, Wills. Oh! Voxie was there sniffing, and their centre back just made an unbelievable interception. Ooh, this is an interesting one. IBB boots, Blunts. Best advice a manager has ever given you. Um, you got anything for people? Keep the ball out the back of the net. It's pretty good yeah, on that. Yeah, it's a good one, mate. Um, Makes sense, goalkeeper. Keep the ball out the back of the net. Pretty easy one, that. Isn't it? Yeah, uh, make a mistake or anything like that. Try and see the positive. Keep the head up and the yeah. And everyone makes their mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone though. Makes it's just how you uh, bounce back on yeah, that. Like it, Blunks. Wise words, mate. I remember a manager once said to me, Taff, you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Go and make this one count. It was before my debut playing in front of all the fans. That one's uh, stuck with me for a while. What a save, Max. Fleet would have found their mojo now. Blunks, would you have saved that? Take it on my chest, mate. Get yeah. You would just um, control it with the inside of your foot and yeah. got us on the counter attack, wouldn't you? Oli Tolson, are there any Premier League clubs that you think you could walk into the starting eleven? Probably all of them, bar Liverpool. Van Dijk, he's not bad, is he? Oscar Fitz, what age did I start taking my diet seriously? This is an interesting one, because I remember when I was 18, 19, at Southampton, I was known as the snack man. I used to have like a bag from Tesco's underneath my bed and all the boys would come in and raid my room for my Galaxy Caramels, Crisp, Mars bars. I used to have so much. And then, and I do feel like back then you can get away with it a little bit more. You can't fully get away with having a bad diet, but a little bit more. And if I had known back then, look, you should not be eating this stuff, then obviously I wouldn't have. It wasn't until I got to around 21, I really started doing like my own research into nutrition and recovery. Back then, 12 years ago now, like sports science was way behind. People didn't really talk about these sort of things. I kind of feel like I was one of the first ones who really took like extra training, nutrition, recovery, sleep, importantly. And I just upped my knowledge on all these sort of different things and started implementing them into my footballing career. And that's when I started like leaving people behind because I started making these changes. Super Sammy Bugs, come on the boys, 2-0. Do you know what, perfect time to score as well because Fleet was just starting to look lively. I will take that. Got another question here, Blunks. Rian Taff Azoli asks, why is Joshua Blanco's head so big? <laughs> <laughs> You're a joker. Oh, here we go, G, Mac. It's burnt him. Ooh. That's a corner ref. <laughs> Some of these refs, man. Do you know what? I just don't understand when the whole stadium can clearly see it's a corner or a free kick or a foul and the ref doesn't see it. It's mental. How many times do you watch a game at home on Sky? It's like, how's the ref miss that? You have any Mackies as well, Luca? Yeah. Yeah, nice one. At least you're getting the Mackies after the game. I remember Casper Schmeichel said, like, he actually feels a lot better in goal when he's fatter. The ball just rebounds off him. 5% body fat. 5% body fat? Yeah. Do you know what 5% body fat looks like? Yeah. Have you seen my biceps? 5% body fat. I think when a bodybuilder steps on stage to compete, they're around 4 to 5%. Have you seen the biceps before? To be fair, what are you benching now? 25? Just a bar. Just a bar, yeah. We're cruising here now. Fleet would have brought on the big man, so they are going more direct into him, but he looks so good. Bloom ball. <laughs> Oh. One of them where it takes a deflection and the keeper's just stood there praying doesn't go in. Unlucky wing dog. Ten minutes left. This game's done. If I took five penalties against you, how many do you reckon you'd save? I'm counting over the bar. Yeah, how many how many would I score? Two. 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 One of them got over the bar. Should you have a bet? Yeah. Alright, yeah. Pretty good. 
20 quid. Oh, five penalties he thinks he's gonna save or I'm gonna miss at least three of them. Blanks? Easy. Talk to the people, you got this. Easy, easy, easy. We've got to find a penalty spot first because this weather is minging. Look at the state of this. The commitment levels for the YouTube are unmatched. He thinks I'm gonna reverse it, first pen is gonna go to his right. I know you, you think you know where I'm going. He didn't even dive. No need for me to change things up here. <laughs> oh my god, what a save! <laughs> what a save! It was a bad pen, mind you. You just gotta save two more, yeah. otherwise, you owe me 20 quid. You're not saving this one. Right. Oh yes. no! <laughs> The power! <laughs> One more for 20 pounds. Looking bleak for Blanksy boy now. Last one. I'm going to take up my weaker foot and I bet you'll score. <laughs> Don't go for those Blanks! <laughs> That's the easiest twist. Double or quick? Double or quick. <laughs> You've got to be broke by the end of today. Cool, three pens, he saves one, he wins his money back. Blunks, if I score this with a camera in my hand, you should pay up now. <laughs> it's getting easy. All right, easiest 20 pounds I've ever made. Cheers, Blunksy boy. 40? 40. What, am I 40 up? Yeah, My lens is ruined. I've got Blanks' gloves on because my hands are freezing. What is minging? Hopefully it clears up for training tomorrow. But this is the end of the video. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Jump on Blanks' YouTube channel. I'll leave it down there for you guys. Show him some love. He's only just starting up, so he's got some videos on there soon. Sick goalkeeper. And I'll see you guys in the next one.